Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone, welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is part of ITSM implementation mock training. In this video, we will configure category and subcategory choices. We will also see how dependent choices can be configured in ServiceNow. So what we will do, we will disable one choice in query slash help. So we already have out of the box choice in category field. We will disable that choice so that users don't select that choice while creating incident. Now we will also create a new choice and that choice in category field would be office infra. That's a new choice we want to create in category field. And on the basis of that, we will also add few choices in subcategory field. And those choices are like you can see here, meeting room, security gate, pantry, work desk and training room. These are the different choices which are basically dependent on office infra category. So that's something we will see here that how you can configure category and subcategory choices on incident form. So let's see how we can make these changes in our instance. We will start with deactivating our first choice that is inquiry slash help. So what we will do, we will again go to field dictionary. So we will click on configure dictionary. We have to deactivate that particular category choice. We will go to choices. And here we have this inquiry slash help. Now, how can you make one uh, choice as deactivate? So you have this column inactive. You just make it true. That's it. This choice will be disabled, permanently disabled. That means none of the user can see this choice. Nobody can use this choice for creation of incidents. So this is disabled, but you have to remember one thing that we also need to create one more choice that is office infra. So for that, I will just double click here and I will write office infra and here I will give it a value and that value could be um, office underscore infra and I will just check this checkbox and I can just give the sequence sequence. We can make it as six and that's it. And now what I can do, so this, this one is created. And if I click on create new again, you will see the difference. We are getting inquiry uh, slash help again. Ideally, it should not. The reason is why it is coming. I can tell you why it is coming, but you can see office infra. But I can show you that why it is coming. If I click on configure dictionary here, we have this default value in in here. Yes, you can see this was the main reason because it's showing as default value here. So what do you have to do? You can just remove this and we will make the default value maybe software, not that one because we have disabled that choice. So I will save this. So we have updated the default value for this particular field for category. And if I click on create new now, you will see that you it is not visible anymore. So you will not see uh, inquiry slash help, but you will see office infra. Now, if I select this, will I get any subcategory? Not at all. You can see I'm not able to see any subcategory. So that is what we have to create. So what I will do, I will go to subcategory now. So till here we have disabled one choice. We have added one choice in category and now we will add few choices in subcategory field. So I will just click on this configure dictionary and we will add those choices. And here we have a lot of choices. You can see we have 19 choices, but one of the important point here is dependent values. You can also make basically all these choices fields as dependent on each other as well. 
that's that's a feature out of the box feature we have in service now so here you can see all these different choices but we also have dependent value that means if i select this value in that particular field then i will be able to see these correspondent uh, choices so in this case what i will do i will create some choices and i will just mention here so let's say i was talking about pantry i will add this one and i will just give it name as pantry and i will make a dependent value as well here i will mention um, office underscore infra that's a backend value we have taken off our category choice here I can mention, and if I go to my, here I can mention meeting room. Meeting room, I can give it a value here. Meeting underscore room. Room, so that's our other choice. And I can just add here. And then I can just at security gate so it will populate that security underscore gate and here i can mention that office infra done now how exactly it will know that this particular choice is from category so what we can do we can mention in I think dependent yes so we have this dependent field and you can see it says use dependent field and it says which particular dependent field you want to select so you can select the category as of now you can see it is selected here so category is selected here that means this field is dependent this subcategory field is dependent on this category field so this is completely out of the box configuration you can do for other fields as well if you are adding some custom fields custom choice field and you want to make it dependent you can definitely do it with the help of this kind of configuration now let's see whether we can see these subcategories or not while creation of an incident so we have this category software and if i change this to office infra and if this time if i click here absolutely you can see here we got three choices which we created in subcategory meeting room pantry security gate so that's how you can configure choices for category and subcategory and even if you if you have any requirement where you have to add any another field and you have to configure the choices you have to disable or enable uh, choices you can definitely do with the help of field dictionary and you have that choices related list and you can just update those configurations thanks for watching this video please like share and comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel Thank you and have a great day.